well, I guess it's just not going to focus right now. So um, I'm not looking the cutest. Um, I'm also not very dressed. Um, but I'm going to vlog my day today for the fuck of it. I have, I'm going to start my day off I'm inspired by the Tomi. Um, was a YouTuber who I think, but I have oatmeal and I have chia seeds and I have cacao. Oof, I'll, I'll show you guys in a sec. And I have hemp hearts and I have jam, raspberry jam, because I'm a raspberry kind of girl. <laughs> so I have my day mostly planned out. I'm going to start myself off with. Um, I already brush my teeth and wash my face. And I'm gonna eat this. I talked to my sister son. We're good, it's delicious. Oh, it's too hot though. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a facial steam and I'm gonna do a clay mask. And I'm gonna do a whole bunch of other self-care like shaving and shit, because I just feel like I need a um maintenance day <laughs> for my body. And then I'm gonna do a lot of laundry while listening to a people's history of the United States, so it's gonna be lit. Mm. Oh, and I have mate. And I have hot water, because I start my day off by taking my vitamins and drinking my hot water. Okay, I'm not actually this together, I'm just trying hard today. I just wanna quickly show off the view. I just think it's so beautiful. Okay, back to the scheduled content. <laughs> so, um, I didn't finish my mate. I'm gonna continue to drink that as I do my day. But now I'm going to take you along and I'm gonna make my things because I'm doing a self-care day. So I'm gonna make a scrub and a face mask and a steam. So let's go. DIY queen. Oh my God, you can literally see my whole ass because I'm naked. And here are my ingredients for my DIYs today. Let's go. And there we go, it's all mixed up. I also added eight drops of Four Thieves essential oil because, <laughs> I don't know man, I just feel like it. I don't wanna be sick. I was making the um, bath mix. I totally forgot about showing you guys what I was doing. But essentially it's just Epsom salt, some rose petals, some chamomile, some rosemary, and then I have various essential oils in there. So this is uh, the consistency that I'm looking for. I don't know, other people might have different wants for their faces. And then I'm just gonna add one drop of lavender and one drop of tea tree, no more. <laughs> so yeah. Officially the worst like DIY YouTuber ever. Well, I'm just the worst YouTuber, um, apparently. But I've already put two drops of tea tree, and um, that's literally it. Two drops of tea tree oil in this, and this is gonna be my first facial steam. I just put in some lavender, and then I put in some chamomile, a little bit of extra chamomile because I'm like, <laughs> soothe me. So let's see how it goes. Got my phone timer set for 10 minutes because I hear it any longer. It's bad for you. I'm gonna pour in my water. It's boiling. It's like a miniature bath. Ooh, I wasn't even on the thing. This is adorable. Now I'm gonna put my towel over my head. See how it goes. This is my steam. Goodbye. Since my camera's in here anyway, I thought I might give you guys a partial update. That's my review so far. We'll see how it does my skin. I'm looking like a whole wreck, but um, I'm sweaty as hell. I'm steamy. Is this condensation or sweat? Either way, it's probably good. <laughs> um, actually though, instead of just cutting this off, I may as well use this time to say that um, it was fun, oddly. And I'm feeling like a motherfucker. I do not look cute. This is, I'm never gonna be a YouTuber. Not that I really care, because this is really difficult for me. But, um, 
clay mask now. Okay. So, now, got my face mask. Random, uh, like, reminder about these face masks. Um, don't do what I did and leave it for sitting. But also, mix it with a non-metal spoon because it will essentially just make it less powerful. Because, like, the metal activates the stuff. So, yeah. Let me just put that on real quick. I absolutely forgot to wash my face before, ooh, shit, before doing the steam and the this, so both will probably not be very effective. I always fuck something up with my skincare routine. Always fuck something up. One day I aspire to be the person who, like, leaves nothing out, but it could potentially just be part of my character. Oh, I dropped more! I think it's just part of my character. Okay, not to try to be like inspiring at such an amusing, like relatable moment, but um, what I was saying reminded me that like, you get to be the person that you want to be. Like, if you're like, oh, I don't like that I'm forgetful, you know, work on that. When you forget something like, I don't know. If you like, I want to be a better listener, for example, then like practice listening to people. If you want to be bilingual, be bilingual, like, learn a new language. If you want to be able to dance, or if you want to, you know, be more patient, like, practice patience. Practice, however, the, the things that you want to do and until you become the person that you want to be. That's kind of, like, my, like, key to confidence for myself, is I know I'm doing my best to become the person that I want to be, and I know that I'm on my way to being that person. And so when I'm, so I'm able to say I like myself because like, I do. I like that. I like the person I'm becoming. I like the person that I am, that I'm able to do that. You know? Shape myself into who I want to be. So, yeah. Be who you want to be. Put effort into who you want to be. I know this is silly, but I literally like, make Pinterest boards of who I want to be. I know that sounds, like it's not very effective because it's just visual cues. But it's like visual cues for like, things like, I want to be like, you know, able to laugh at myself and I want to be able to hang out with people in a casual way without like having close friends. I mean like, I obviously want to have close friends and I want to have be bonds with people, but I don't want to be like upset by hanging out with people if I'm not close to them. I want to be able to be more easygoing and... I want to be more patient and to be able to work on projects longer. Because, you know like when you take those personality tests? I don't think of them like... Like this is who I am for life. I think like... Okay, this is where I'm at right now and maybe I want to be different. You know? I think some things about people don't really change much but maybe you can change them. Like, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, I think that's a bit just how you're wired but like... I know that I can go into both, so. Anyway, this is kind of a silly rant, but. <laughs> I was gonna tongue lapse my face so that you guys didn't have to see me putting this on, but then I ran a couple times, so. There you go. Oh, and another tip about this is don't put it on your um, lips because it can be very drying. I'm gonna use the excess on my shoulders because I have acne on my shoulders and maybe it will help me. I'm sure it's just a nutritional thing, but may as well work with what's already there and because I'm planning on doing the nutritional learning about myself soon, but the zits that exist exist and that's just the way it is, so I gotta, you know, can work them out, right? So, done with that. Okay, so I'm gonna get into my shower now. Um, I'm gonna shave and I'm gonna use my 
exfoliation stuff. It was the oil and the sugar and the four thieves. Um, so I'm gonna exfoliate, I'm gonna wash, I'm gonna shave. You know, the drill. So, yeah. I'll be out and feeling clean. <laughs> I don't know, I just took like the longest shower because I was shaving. And I took a super long time shaving. My face mask is off. You guys can see my face. The lighting in here is awful. Um, I'm gonna do some more shit because that's what I do. <laughs> so this is my deodorant. You have to get it wet to put it on. It's like a little crystal. I'm trying it out this week to see how it goes. Um, Allegedly, it does the same thing as like baking soda um, deodorants, but you know, or, I mean, sorry, aluminum thingies. Um, but it's not cancerous, so that's you know always a plus when you're like, not probably giving yourself breast cancer. I should over apply my witch hazel because. This is the um, lotion moisturizer that I use for my face. I'm so yeah, just use a little bit of that. I already moisturized today. I just washed my face again, so I'm like, oof, gotta re re up this. I'm waiting for that to settle. The lighting's awful in here. It's truly awful. I'm gonna do my eyebrows, which I feel like trimming because they're sort of hard to manage lately. I'm just brushing them out. It's nothing special. My sister's having a time of it. I feel like being a bit rosy, so I'm gonna dab a bit of color over my chapstick. I make that face a lot. Okay, that's relatively settled. Now, sunscreen kids, even though I'm not going outside today. Um, sunscreen is important. <laughs> okay, just a random life tip, especially if you're using like lavender essential oil, any essential oil, but especially lavender on your face, um, you're going to want to be using sunscreen for about like, you know. You should be using sunscreen every day, but you should especially take care to do it for like the next week because it really increases photosensitivity and can be super bad for your skin if you don't protect it. So, this is the sunscreen I use, by the way. Let's go to another room. I'm over exposed, but with the light sensitivity and my lack of clothes. But uh, now I have to ruin my outfit for clothes every time. I was going like underwear and like a bra, and I'm like. Dressed, but I have to run up close, so let's see what I got. Honestly, I'm gonna just go with. Oh, why can't it see me? Hello, focus on me. Bo. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just go with the bare minimum and be like a skirt and a shawl. It's an outfit. Hell yeah. This is not good YouTube content, but like. So no one will watch it. They look. They like. <laughs> I have my cashews and my garlic and my onion, cumin, chili powder, wow, okay. and yeast. Unfortunately, I only have organic nutritional yeast, and for some reason, it tastes disgusting comparatively. But let's let's blend. Okay, just a second. Mm. 
mean, I know you just tasted it, but it's like. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't want to be recorded. Please. No. I'm vlogging. Because I feel like it. <laughs> Is it yummy? Okay. Good. She didn't like it as much earlier. I think she's just being nice to me. I just didn't respond. I got hot sauce in it. Like, Tom. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And ketchup. So I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> I do like it. Oh. Yeah. It's good. Wow. I'm going to Thank you. Sure. Here we are, cashew cheese dip, blue corn tortilla chips. I'm the full on Whole Foods baby. Anyway, and um, it was fun cleaning the blender and shit. I forgot to show you guys. I'm terrible at vlogging. Like I just don't know how people like hold the camera and do shit. I think I need a camera stand. Anyway, um, we'll be back with more. I'm waiting for the water to heat up so I can do my. I am literally the power internet kid right now because I'm on a live video and I'm vlogging because I want to tell both places what's in my cashew cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna just say it. Y'all can. I hope you like it. So, cashews, water, to whatever consistency you want it. Like if you want it to be more of a spread, obviously you do less water than I did. I wanted to do a dip, so more water. And then optionally, you can do tomato paste. I think it makes it like more. I don't know if she does it for me. I also had a hot sauce though, so I'm kind of a little bit odd. Um, and then as far as seasonings, there's salt, garlic, onion, chili powder, cumin, turmeric to make it yellow. And also because I just like put turmeric in everything. And, oh, nutritional yeast. Because <laughs> um, I don't know why nutritional yeast just tastes really cheesy. So there we have it. It's delicious and I'm not vegan and I eat it because it's yummy. So, and it's like pretty easy. And if you don't have food in the house, but you happen to have cashews and various seasonings, Ta-da! Eat some snack. Anyway. Now, usually when I do a bath, I like a magic bath like this, because I'm actually clean. This point of this is more energetic for me. I like to compile like a small altar um, for myself. So I'm going to take this, which is a, a little sachet spell. Um, that is symbolic of me finding my own power. And I'm gonna take this. I'm feeling it today. That earth element can do me good. Oh, it's not focusing. What a little shit. Anyway. And I shall. And for sure, I'm gonna do my standard, like, charging, cleansing um, thing that I do. My lucky bunny's still missing, but, you know, I got my go with the flow guy. Sorry, it's not focusing. And that's for another time. And that's for another time. And I could use this extra bit of amethyst right now. And my worry doll. And I think this guy. That's what we got to work with. So whenever I, um, Go to take a bath like this um, that I know might be a bit and uh, be a bit exhausting. I make sure to stock up. Got some water. I have my witch hazel spray just as like a refresher, and I have my chapstick. I don't know. It just makes me feel good. So then, of course, for the actual bath making aspects of it. We just have all of our ingredients, which for those of you who don't remember, it was rose and rosemary and chamomile and Epsom salt, eucalyptus essential oil, tea tree essential oil, and rosemary and lavender. Ta da! It smells so good. It smells unbelievably good. So now I am off to enjoy my bath and uh, recharge myself with my crystals and relax and I will report back. Okay. 
So, I have to write. I, I just didn't, didn't expect this day. All I planned to do was like some face care and a nice bath. This is wild. I am so blessed. I had such an amazing bath. I've been praying for answers to, you know, some really tough things a lot lately. Um, it, for those of you that know me from the Instagram, <laughs> the Instagram, you know, you'll know I'm really struggling and I just, boom, like, like it all came together. All those answers that I'd been like begging for just kind of like came into focus and I just feel so blessed and so gifted and I will tell you all about it but I gotta write it down first because it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's hailing. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but it's, it's hailing. I was writing out things and it just started to but it is, I mean, I'm just baffled by the beauty of the rain. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Typing away over here, I have so much to write. <clears throat> but I just want to say, I think I'm actually exciting, excited for vlogging. I think that, even though I don't like YouTube, I think the platform of like video might be really good for me. Um, so, you know, maybe other people will like it too. I mean, of course, continue to do Instagram, but that's just a little interjection. This is gonna be like the longest video, I'm so sorry. But, um, you know, maybe it'll be a nice thing to watch before bed. So, whew, back to work. And um, I'll uh, distill that a bit better later, but yeah. So, I'm feeling like chai, so that is what I'm going to go do. Chai and some yoga. The herbs over here for my chai in my scarf, and they looked really pretty, so I thought I'd share. Let's get cooking! Here we are. We got our cinnamon sticks, and here is my chai. My special blend. I've definitely got to... This is my... Um, invigorating and um, cramp relieving feminine power chai. Pretty much it's like my like super period care. Because I get like really tired and super bad periods. I mean super bad, well I do get super bad, but super bad cramps. So I'll definitely be sharing what's in here. And I can't wait to taste it. Let's just let that go for a while. is boiling away and I just had a lot of fun doing yoga. I'm feeling so blessed today. I'm like, I'm really glad that I got this day. Like I needed this. An alone Saturday where I like, have my shit together. Yeah. I mean, I haven't like felt this myself in a really long time, so. Like I didn't go to like Six Flags or on a road trip with my friends, I didn't have anyone over, but this was, you know, as good as any Christmas, as good as anything, this like sort of normal day was, is, is a huge gift and it's like an amazing experience. So. It's the little things, sing just about anything. Everything is you. So, it's a moment of truth. Ooh, 
This is not my skill set. Oh, yeah. Did y'all see that? I am on my shit today. I wonder if it even got caught. This is fantastic. Okay, that's all I'm gonna have. We'll see how it is. I need to change. Oh, I made my chai too bitter. I'm gonna pour it into a cup and I'm, it's just not, I like, have such high standards because I like to be the chai master. But um, we're getting there, Morgan. We're getting back into You guys, I uh, definitely prefer either coconut or cow milk, but maybe nut pods will do. Ugh, look at it, weird. <laughs> Thing hurts. I'm still gonna put a little more in though. <laughs> Thing hurts. What is it? Coconut, that's good, and almonds. Hmm. Ah, it melts really nicely. Okay. Okay. Maybe so. Nut pods. Those of you that know me at all, I like a lot of honey, and you'll know that. I like consider it a normal food, not just the sweetener or flavor. I'm just like, it's pretty much peanut butter, just the other kind. I will confess that I um tried it before trying it on camera. I was too excited. But it's delicious. It wasn't perfect. Oh, but it is. It's flawless. I I can't wait to share the recipe. I, I didn't know if I had it in me still, but I do, which just goes to show I should have more faith. So loves. I um I think I'm done with this video and I'm gonna edit it for you guys. And it will probably be very long, but hopefully you will enjoy it. I just died, so I'm gonna use my phone to finish my little goodbye. But yeah, I'm really grateful that I was able to share that with you guys. And um, I'm really excited to share my writings with you guys. And I'm really excited to do more of these. This, I think, could be really good for me. And um, yes, blessed be babies. Wherever you are right now, that's okay. Like, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm fucking enlightened. Like, I'm not, I'm just a kid. Like, it doesn't matter. Cause where you are right now, that's exactly where you're meant to be. And the best thing, more than just like the best, it's not like it's good enough, like it is good to do every single day. You get to make this decision every single day is just to follow your heart and live the best life that you can live. And that is brilliant. Okay, I love you and goodbye.